Oh, well, look at this. This is the best day we've had so far. Nice. Also, uh, since the last episode, I've come to the conclusion that I need to set goals for these episodes. Because uh, so far I've been treating this more like Skyrim. You know, just kind of mess around and see where the wind takes me and all that. But honestly, like, there isn't enough to do in this game to really treat it like that. Like, I need to actually start making progress. But what decides exactly what I'm going to do, I need to know how much the item I want to acquire costs. Because I have a good chunk of change right now. All right, so what do I actually want to get? It kind of sucks because my thing's at half condition, so all of its stats suck right now. So, of course, everything here is going to look amazing by comparison. But I think this is what we should strive for. Sucks for burns, but I mean, fire anomalies tend to one-shot you anyway, so whatever. Uh, we should probably start by repairing our regular armor. Because it's taking a beating. Alright, where the hell does the duty technician live? Everything in this area is a pain in the ass to find. Where is Repair Boy? I'll do the basic tools. Maybe some tweaking. Yeah. 20k, that's fine. Oh, and another thing that we want to do. We want to get a better shotgun. We already got our M4 here. Need to get a better shotgun. That's also on the list. That's that's a nice stash. And sometimes the purple ones have uh, have basic tools in them. So we might want to go for that one. Oh, uh, with freedom hating me, it's it's a real gamble, like trying to fast travel to the uh, Bloodsucker Village, because there's literally like one faction that could be there that would actually be friendly to me, and that's duty. Otherwise, it's mercenaries, monolith, and freedom, all of which won't be dead. I mean, not all of freedom, given, but enough of freedom, you know, considering that defending myself from them would aggro the rest of freedom which at this point i i don't know maybe i want freedom to be mad at me so then i can pay them to not be mad at me or i could just embrace the hate and go gather me some freedom patches because everybody in duty wants them up the butt I don't need your crap right now. I just don't. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I, for I forgot. This suit does not have an integrated headpiece, so repairing the armor does not repair all the cracks in my visor. That's kind of annoying. But, like, the headpiece isn't in bad enough condition to really warrant a repair. Especially since it's going to be a couple thousand. Which, I mean, honestly, just sell a couple mutant parts and I'll make that up. So, maybe I should do it. And I'll do it next time I swing by the technician. It's fine. <clears throat> what if we're going to get a storm? Because we've had a storm in, like, every episode so far. It's so beautiful out. I honestly think this is the best this game has ever looked. And I haven't even done anything. I just happen to get a good combination of weather effects. I hope I don't weird you out or anything. I just want to be by somebody who won't just immediately put a cap in my ass. Yeah, I think I'm going to be a, if not joining duty outright, I'm, I'm going to be friends with duty. Who in the hell? Okay, so whoever is shooting at duty would not be my friend, so. How many times do I have to f***ing shoot you? Also, is there just one of you?
Who the hell are you? You're a bandit? Armed this well? Oh, and you have an artifact. I'm gonna call you Paul. Good night, Paul. I don't see anybody down here. Which is weird in itself. Also, did that guy actually shoot me at all? I don't think he got an actual shot on me. All, all that fire to accomplish nothing. Now, while I'm here, should I go... Should I go bully some mercenaries? Is that a thing I should do? To, to see what spoils I get from them? It is suspiciously empty. Like, all that gunfire... Unless they all killed each other, like, there should be some survivors. Okay. Freedom Bro doesn't care about me. So I'm gonna leave him alone. And for now, I am only going to... The, shoot at the Freedomers who shoot at me. Otherwise, that kind of sucks where I have to wait for them to open fire so I can return fire. But depending on what they have and how accurate they are, that first volley might do me in. I might not get the chance to return fire. Okay, this is dumb to check this right now, but... Maybe I should join the join duty. I mean, it would make me enemies of freedom, but that's real. That's really the only thing that would change. And I would be neutral with the military. See, I might be joining duty here. <clears throat> Where the hell did he come from? Okay, I think he was in the house. And I just took so long that he came out. He's over here somewhere. Or not. Okay, somebody shot at me. It's me, Austin! It was me all along! You look like Monolith. Oh, you're a mercenary. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I join duty. So then at least give the, the freedom guys a reason to shoot at me all the time. Embrace the hate. Now, the question is, if I, tr like, switch factions, does that affect my goodwill that I've already gotten with a faction? Because, like, I don't turn into a different person. So if I'm friends with the loners, I should remain friends with the loners, even after I switch to duty. But by the same token, if, you know, the mercenaries want to shoot me on sight for something that I did, then me changing factions probably won't make a difference because they want me like specifically they don't care who i'm allied with i don't think i've ever wasted a dog more nonchalantly like i didn't even stop talking just unload into their heads there's no way to make that sound good i really don't know who gives more for mutant parts i'm just gonna sell them to sell them to butcher that is not who this profile picture is not the man maybe that's him in vanilla stalker i don't know i don't even remember vanilla stalker last time i played that was shit that was like three computers ago because it was probably like the best game like yeah stalker and oblivion were basically the best games i could get to run on my glorified office computer should i pick up the 870 Oh, God damn it. I think this stash is the one that's on top of the train. That's, like, impossible to get to. Because this anomaly sometimes moves, but this one doesn't. Like, the one on top, it never moves. And so in my last playthrough, at least that was a purple stash. So it might have justified the risk of trying to get it, but... This time, like, a green stash? And you think I'm dealing with that? Who do I talk to about these working conditions? This is bullshit. I should go sell this. I might as well sell this too. I mean, I usually like keeping weapons that have been good to me. It's like weapons that have actually carried me through the game, even if they're obsolete now. I like to keep them just as like a hall of fame kind of thing, but I need money. So, you know. So who wants to bet that a storm is gonna hit while I'm out with these clowns? 
I think that's very likely. Hey, hey, hey. There's an anomaly over there. Stop pushing me towards it. I know you didn't hit the dog. I know damn well you didn't. Yeah. God damn it. Oh my god. Who gets to be the first official victim of the new shoddy? The Remington. The Remy, if you will. Who wants a rim job? You ruined it. Did I make it weird? I think I made it weird. Did I make it weird, guys? Okay, clearly I did. Uh, I I am sorry. I apologize. Hmm? Why are you out here? Oh, I have that. I will give you the capability of making drugs, good sir. Do not worry. You will make all of the drugs. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check your prices and compare them with the bar, man, because I feel like I'll get more if I sell this shit to him. Uh, yeah, he gives me a lot more. Like, significantly more. Hells yeah. Ah, okay, this is this is the, the mission I was talking about before, the first time I saw him. Taking out, like, famous stalkers. Yeah, count me in. They say, like, these stalkers have amazing gear and stuff, but from what I've seen so far, because I got pretty high up the list, uh, they really don't have anything worth talking about. Excellent. Experience. Loner. Wow. Like, all the top people are monolith. Holy shit, they really are. Like everyone is either who uni sg who the hell are you you're like everybody's either monolith or mercenary there are very few like loners or anything on the list all right we're about to join duty we're i mean we it can be taken back but we're we're about to do some shit here uh actually can you still do like the main quest line as part of duty I think Monolith and Bandit are the only are the only factions you can't do it as. Job's done. Ah hell. Oh, meet with Noah. Okay, I think that's a Citrovich like get rich mission. Okay, that's fine. I I don't really care about that one. Meet with Mangun? I don't think I want to meet with Mangun. Alright, Mangun. If that is indeed your real name. Which I hope it isn't. Is man yeah, man oh, is a technician. Okay. Ah. Okay, it is not your it is not your real name. Excellent. Uh I've come to see you. I mean sure. But I messed it up pretty bad. Oh well that's that's not good. EMM. Yeah, so uh, that's a that's definitely an RNG mission. Unless I can just go buy it. And what wouldn't that be convenient? But how much money would I have to make to do so? Because the rifle is probably expensive in its brand new form. Actually, I kind of need to know what a PMM even looks like. I mean, like, yeah, I thought it was like a variant of the, the PP, PPH, or PPH. Well, I feel kind of oh, shitty yeah. now, because it just kind of clicked with me. Uh, This is the PMM, or PM, but same difference. It, it's the Makarov. Like, that's what he wants. He wants a Makarov. After I just fucking sold one. Uh, the thing is, like, he said he wants a PMM, but I swear that he said a rifle. Like, he said he messed up somebody's rifle. He either brought me in his rifle for repairs when I messed up. I need to find a replacement. And you want a PMM. But I'm pretty sure a PMM is, like, a variant of the Makarov. Like, that is, that is not a rifle. That could not be less of a rifle. I'm one of you now, shut up. 
Yeah, we're, we're gonna do the uh, the old friend mission now. Let's go to clear sky first, and then we'll teleport from there. Big up. Okay, for a second there, I thought they were about to open fire. I was like, wait a minute. If it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea, but um. Are they all seriously gone? I don't buy that for a second. Nope, I see him. Ow. Gotcha. Uh... Hey. Really? I'm thirsty right now. Oh crap. Piss off. Okay, where the hell is the hole in the fence? I do not need somebody crawling up my ass. While I'm sitting there tearing my hair out trying to find a damn hole in this fence. Thank you. God damn. Like, I know he lives underground, but... Like, how do I get to where he lives? Oh. Hello. You. You son of a bitch. Yeah, straight like blah blah blah. What is that equal sign at the bottom of my thing? I just noticed that. What is that? What the hell? It's expanding. What the hell? Did I just screw something up? Okay, that was a detection thing. I'm not a spy. Like, I never said I was not duty. Okay, so now I guess I need to get some duty armor. Goddamn. In fact, I think we're going to end this episode right here. I made a little bit of progress and uh, changed factions. Got myself a new shotgun, which I still have yet to test out because I guess every everything has just been better suited to the M4. But we're going to blow something's head off, okay? That's a given. Like, something is getting buckshot to the face. I guarantee that. But in the meantime, if you... Oh. Well, right at the end of the episode. How about that? Just when I thought we were going to have a full episode with no no bullshit, you know, here comes the bullshit. So, uh, if you found yourself liking what I do and how I do it, go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe for more. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Killjoy, and until next time, take care, everybody. I'm going to ride out this emission with my new friends. Cold and whoever the hell you are. <laughs>